Today on Identity, get eco-conscious over coffee with the Green Dean campaign co-founder, Fatima Raghi. We learn about the Khoisan heritage in today's regional story. In our What's Happening media segment, we review an app that transforms your mobile device into a meal planning solution. We also review a local flick called Leading Lady. Then we end the show with the soothing sound of Kolani Sitole. An individual with an imagination My inner faith illuminates innovations In a space with infinite inspiration I was born free from all incarceration Incredible, living infallibly Intelligent, outshine with my inner being This is me, impeccable as ever been I am you, you are me This is my identity Sanbonani, Apsheni, and good morning. Welcome to Mzansi's most watched multi faith youth show, Identity. And I'm your host, Viva Kuala. Thank you so much for joining me on this beautiful Sunday morning. Today marks the United Nations International Day for the Remembrance of the Slave Trade and its Abolition. Each year, the UN invites people from all over the world, including educators, students, theatre companies, cultural organisations and musicians, to promote tolerance and human rights. The day is also used to highlight the problem of human trafficking worldwide. Izinqaki zanamhlanje ezasemhlabeni zangasonjululwa ngokuba siphakame sisebenze kunye ukwenza umahluko obonakalayo ekuhlaleni. Undwendwe lwethu olwana mhlanje khona pha ku coffee shop ngumuntu oqondekileyo okholelwa ukuba wonke umuntu angenza lukhulu ukugcina ilizwe lethu. Fatima Raghi is the co-founder of Green Dean South Africa, an initiative that aims to raise awareness and mobilize action towards environmental issues. Her mission is clear, to help protect the environment from destruction. Fatima, welcome to Identity. Oh, thank you for having me. Before we get into the interview, I just want to find out what kind of childhood did you have? Hmm, quite a normal childhood, I would say. Okay. I was born in Johannesburg, three years in the cafe business with my parents and them, and then I moved off to Rustenburg, so mm -hmm. one of the more farm-like towns compared to Johannesburg. And yeah, normal childhood, growing up in that, 12 years, and then back to Joburg to study at university. Okay. What role did spirituality have in your childhood, and what role does spirituality have in your life today? I think being brought up in a house that was uh, quite conservative with Muslim traditions, we were always conscious of our spirituality, always understanding. And I mean, being Muslim, we taught to pray five times a day in that. And our understanding of everything around us is based in our religion. So growing up, you always have this connection to your Creator, always that. And then when you go and decide, oh, I want to save the environment, you come back into yourself. Why am I saving the environment and how does this link me to my Creator? How does this link me to my religion? Mm -hmm. Where did this passion for the environment and environmental issues come from? I mean, I'm looking right now at your, you know, you've got a tag there. And what did it say? Earth Keeper. So you, you're very passionate about, you know, the environment. Where did that come from? I think a lot of it is based home environment. My parents themselves always loved the bush. Grandfather always planted the trees <laughs> in the backyard. Yeah. And then obviously reading books and just finding that, that space, that green space in that. And like I said, grew up in a semi plus town. So <laughs> it's always a little space. And then as you grow up, you decide, okay, I need to make this into my career. Mm. And you read more, you study more, and then you just grow into it. So how was Green Dean South Africa formulated? So at the moment, I'm doing my master's degree at West University. So after finishing my degree and my honors year, uh, you go back and look at your community and you see this great need there is, that there's no link between what we're practicing and what the text actually says with the environment. Mm. And going through the Muslim Students Association, starting off this campaign just to raise awareness. So since it's third year of running as a voluntary campaign. Okay, please explain to us the concept of Dean. What is that and what does it mean? So Dean, often people translate it as meaning religion. So okay. you'll say my Dean is Islam, my Dean is Christianity, mm. my Dean is Hinduism. Mm -hmm. But when you go back, this while it is obviously connotated to an Islamic word, it's actually a much older word and it's more encompassing. It's, it's more your way of life. So it's just spirituality, what you do and everything. 
and this is what it needs. So when you say green dean, it's this whole way of life that's actually linked to the environment. Mm -hmm. you, spoke, you, you spoke about something very profound. You said that you, know, you have a connection to God and you also have the same connection to the environment. So what role does spirituality have with the environment? What relationship does the role have? I think in the world today, we are always given this very clinical, scientific perspective on our relationship with the environment. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, issues from climate change and that has become a very um, a cultural thing. But when you look at the movements, frantically what's happening at the moment is we're not seeing success in the environmental debate without people going back to the culture. Mm -hmm. The way you live, the way you think, it's all your culture. Mm -hmm. So the only way you're going to get people to care and actually return to their culture is the environment. And this link with your creating that it's been here from the old days mm -hmm. and we now modern times have lost it. So it's just going back to what we were, what we've come from. Mm -hmm. How do we, especially as young people, because we're so naive when it comes to environmental issues, how do we start to give back and actually, you know, do well in terms of environmental issues? I think the very first thing that, and people ask this a lot, is what, how do you start off? And I think the very first thing we need to do is start with our inner environment and the mm -hmm. inner connection. Because if you as a person aren't in contact with your environment, you're not going to go anywhere. So find that link to your spirituality. Look when you walk outside, remember to look at the clouds and say, you know what, my Lord is out there, my Creator is out there and He's caring for me. He's designed this whole world, He's running this whole world without mm -hmm. any flaws. Mm -hmm. And I think we as young people just need to find that again because in this world that's so full of evil, so full of strife, so full of so full of badness, I mean, we're constantly on the platform to try to prove ourselves. We need to return and remember our Creator, remember where we come from, and just become that sure thing. And then from there, right, what can I do? How can I save the environment? How can I recycle? How can I learn to pick up litter? Things of that sort. Mm -hmm. So being the change that you want to see. Exactly. Uh, you know, when you speak about the complexities of the world, you know, I, I think to myself, what must be the challenges, the prevalent challenges that the world is experiencing when it comes to environmental issues? What are those challenges in the world? I think the very, very first thing that we are at the moment now, and it's actually, in my mind, it's something that we as an average citizen need to take into account, is our problem with waste. I mean, mm. have you ever driven outside and just mm. looked at the amount of plastic mm. bags and that flying around? It's, you can't walk anywhere without stuff. It's bad, yeah. And I think this is something that's a personal responsibility for all of us. Number one, we have to make sure when we buy things, we buy in less. Buy less packets, just try. You'll, you'll be surprised, there's small ways you can just reduce your waste. Mm. And then realize that, you know what? I can take a walk on the street and fill a packet with dirt and I'm doing my bit. This is my charity to the environment. Mm -hmm. So I think that's like one thing. The second thing is then taking awareness of bigger campaigns. I mean, there's issues like climate change where mm -hmm. our imprint of the environment is changing the weather. Mm -hmm. And we know this is affecting the poor more than anyone else. Mm -hmm. How are we going to do our bit for that? Raising awareness from rhino poaching to pangolin poaching to what's happening to the plants in the nature reserve down the street. We need to find that connection. How can we do it? And a lot of the environmental movement, we need to know a lot of global knowledge, but our impact is also very local. And I mean, we tend to forget this. Mm -hmm. Yes, we sign in up for the rhino poaching in Kruger Park, but in my local park, is there something I can do? Hmm. You are, you know, a new definition of game changer. So how do we inspire the change that we want to be in the world? A lot of the plays when you sit back and I think you need to find that spot where you're comfortable in. Mm -hmm. we, call, we can't all be the same kind of superheroes. The world needs different superheroes and we need to find that space. You need to find people that care for you. You need to find people that you're comfortable speaking to. I mean, we go around looking around us. So find those friends that make you feel good about yourself. That's very important as well. Mm -hmm. Equipments to yourself. This world is big. We, the internet is at our fingertips. Mm -hmm. Find things to cover. Instead of doing something, do something small learn something new every day. We need to do that. We need to read. And this is what I'm saying. You need to pick up an old-fashioned book and read it from start to the beginning. You'll be surprised how this changes your mindset in life. Whether it can be Harry Potter or it can be a serious, serious novel. Yeah. Start reading. Mm -hmm. So speaking about reading, I've got a quick word game for you. Okay. That's true or false. You need to answer as quickly as, as possible with either the word true or false. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Your first question. A goldfish has a memory span of about eight seconds. True or false? False. That's true, actually, it's false. Ants have the biggest brains amongst all insects. Mm, true. Google was originally called gaggle. False. Lemons contain more sugar than strawberries. True. The Atlantic Ocean is the biggest ocean on the Earth. True. That's actually false, it's oh the Pacific no. Ocean. <laughs> Mona Lisa, the famous painting from Da Vinci, does not have eyebrows. In that time, it was fashion. True or false? True. Snakes are deaf. True. 
Zakumi is a singer famous for the hit song Genie in a Bottle. False. Wow, I am so impressed with, with you. You know, you got all the questions right, right except for one. The oceans one. Yes, the oceans one. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. We had so much fun with you on Identity. Thank you. It was the head of the Kamakagyu lineage who said, environmental conservation must be the essence of our spiritual practice. Thanks to inspired individuals such as Fatima Ragi, who use their time and insights to inspire positive change in all of us. Emva kwentengi so sinizisela ibali elomtu omcha onenchiseko yokugcina amasiko amakhoisen ningasuduki siyabuya ngoku This is my identity This is my identity Welcome back to Identity, the multi-faith youth show that celebrates our shared cardinal spirit of Ubuntu. I'm Vue Kwala. Throughout Africa, dance has always been used to mark life's experiences such as honoring kings and queens, celebrating weddings, marking rites of passage and other ceremonial occasions. Our team recently spent time with Lebukhan Stuke, a young man who uses the traditional Khoisan dance to tell stories of the rich and ancient heritage of the Khoisan clans. Take a look at what we discovered. This is my identity. The love of question dancing, it's called 2001. It's a high school. During the history and science are history in terms of mountain talks. And then that's when I joined it to Summit Center with Titi Pale, Contemporary, yeah, for Fusion. But I was more interested in my question how they live amongst themselves in terms of hunting, in terms of the animal dance, nature dance, tree dance, rain dance. And then I need to know more about them. In terms of their living, in terms of in terms of how they portray my animals, and then it's a capture experience as an artist. And then for me, we boost, and then that's when you experience when I cry in terms of doing that. As me, Christian, Mumzalwani, and then it helped me because of in terms of connection towards Unkolunkolu, and then them as well, they relate, we relate in the same page because of they, they engage themselves to Ukot, Unkolunkolu, and then that's when it comes more, like, easier for me. Before I was doing a question, I was so ignorant. As like I was saying, I was doing ballet, contemporary, hip-hop dance, I did. But as soon as I did, uh, I follow up the question, I've realized with SNA as a young guy, I need to, to know more about myself before I know them. And then that's when I go to the Putuan and stuff and do my research, find out all about my family, the Stuke family, you know. And then I was so fortunate my parents as well assist me in terms of finding myself because of my parents as well, they're more into culture as well. In terms of the academy, I think we even at Oguti, knowing their roots as well, because of we've got different um, languages, we've got Zulu, Peli, Koza, Tswana, and then I always teach them Oguti, you know what, they must follow their culture, besides like Yama Hip Hop, what, what. It's very important Oguti, in terms of their culture, they need to push and then respect their parents, and then I tell them Oguti, they must be grounded as well. That's how in terms of the question is all about, teaching them different dances in terms of culture. If if still the matter is sent because of Abanyaban Abafun, which is seventy, is the Amakan to Abugadi, Mobaba Tank. I'm one person who follow culture, ne? and then I'm one person who like to experience other cultures. And then for me, hip hop dance is not my culture. But Khoisan is my culture because of the part of Africa and then people uh, Baba ignore for such a long time and then it's high time to be with the fierce cut with Baba 
you know, Baba realized with Basapi, that I want to, and then that's when as an artist, it was my task with Timba Pote in terms of doing their dance. And then the real why question is more challenging, to be honest with you. It's one dance that's it's spiritual in a way, you see, when you dance, you're feeling it, you know, and something unique. And I said, Tswana Poe. And then um, I was doing Tswana before, but since we're against the Tswana dance, it's something which is, you know, <coughs> Me up the tail, like nothing up great tail in a way. And then there's a choreographer, I've learned so much into their dance, not only their dance, how they live, you know. And then something which is I want to love by Uncle because of the patient as well. And their dance is more patient as well. I see myself in Fisher owning a production, it a Shaba Wonke from France, Germany, you know what? I see myself being the way in my company, the Buddha Koisen. And then I see myself with the Abantu Babe proud me culture, you know. When you think about Lebu the question, you said, no, that guy helped me, even though by performing, not by only by talking, you understand? As a young person, I recognize you, you know what? It's a task for me, an individual, to continue as a culture. That's a main campaign. And then I see myself with the Umtano Man from the Lebu the question academy, I am a national school of arts, and then I put a polo in career, you know, and say, my, you know what? Umtano Man is and everything, you know, giving back to the community. And then I see myself, you know what? As Lebu the question, you wanna go to production, it's very flower, like putting the question people, you know, by 50 and tour, five production. That's my long term goal. This is my identity. Good for Inzella, Aeon, and you could not have a sick or go up to a Ule bukwe ni sekisa ukuba sifunde ukuba sizi jenge mvela pietu yoku bangama Afrika. If you'd like to share your cultural or spiritual community story, write to us at identitytvshow at gmail.com. You can also tag us in your pictures on Instagram, send us a tweet or inbox us on Facebook. All you have to do is search for Identity TV Show on all three platforms. Join me after the break as we check out an app that transforms your mobile device into a meal planning solution. We also review a local flick called Leading Lady. Plenty more in store for you. Do stay tuned. This is my identity. This is my identity. Welcome back. You're watching Identity with me, Bwekwala, right here on SAPC One Mzansi for show. Sure. Thank you for staying with us. We are well into today's episode, having kicked off the show on an eco-conscious note with Green Dean co-founder Fatima Ragi. We also learned more about the Khoisan culture in our regional insert. But don't worry because we still have more as we head into our media review segment. It's time for What's Happening. Sometimes deciding what to cook can be challenging, whether you're cooking for one, for two, or for your entire family. The Meal Guru app is designed to help you enjoy eating diverse and nutritionally conscious meals day in and day out. For those days when you have no idea what to prepare for lunch or dinner and you just want to be told what to cook, Meal Guru promises to do just that. You can specify which days of the week you need Meal Guru's assistance and then customize the ingredient list. Each suggested recipe includes a calorie count as well as an estimated prep time. None of the recipes take longer than 30 minutes to cook. The app lets you continue to accept or reject meals for as long as you wish. Tweak your list by selecting the shopping list tab, then go through the list and remove ingredients that you don't need to shop for that week. You can also choose between imperial or metric measurements. Specify the number of servings desired and share recipes via Twitter and Facebook. Meal Guru's recipes are based mostly on healthy whole ingredients. Simplify your meal planning and whip up healthy, delicious meals using the Meal Guru app. Now planning your meals doesn't have to be a chore anymore, does it? Next we take a look at a local film that is screened at one of the world's biggest movie gatherings, the Seattle International Film Festival. It's called Leading Lady. Let's check it out. Each one he begins to weep. Somewhere else another stops. What do you think Samuel Beckett meant by this? Who are you planning to cast as the leading lady for your next film? Actually, Director Hank Pretorius has once again brought a highly entertaining South African romantic comedy to the big screen. Leading Lady is a comedy peppered with a collection of colourful characters. 
The movie tells the story of an idealistic British drama school teacher, Jodie Rutherford, who persuades an initially reserved and rather grim South African farmer, Gwobis Willemsa, to prepare her for a role in a major film as an Afrikaans war heroine. In return, Jodie undertakes to organize and direct the annual concert on the Willemsa farm. Facing bankruptcy, Gwobis is forced to sell the family farm, and he hopes the production displaying the family history might make it more appealing to buyers. Oh, and because you're a vegetarian, I cooked you a chicken. The chicken is also meat. No, chicken is a vegetable in this part of the world, and we won't tell the queen. Bon appetit. Jody's interaction with the quirky, small-time citizens of Brantford and the stubborn Quibus teaches her that there is more to life than Hollywood's lights, camera, action. Or is there? Leading Lady is an infectious, charming tale worth the watch. You're joking. Uh, what's your name? Stick to the script and we'll get We've come to the end of today's episode of Identity. Let us know what you think about today's guest, insert and reviews by sending an email to identitytvshow at gmail.com. You can also hook up with us on social media. Search for Identity TV Show on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. See Valin Kuboyo Chiyana Mshanje Ngengo Makakola Nistole Ebizwa Ngo Musa. Kumu Uvyo Kuala Nekala Le Identity, Nibene Kawe Mandi Neveke Esigelegle. Salan Kakushi.